Good morning, John. Like an absolute accidental mutant of a Kit Kat, this video comes to you in three parts. Part number one, when you get food poisoning, as I did last night, it's important to recognize that you don't necessarily know where you got the food poisoning. This is because many things that deliver the same symptoms and are foodborne pathogens can have vastly different onset times. E. coli and Campylobacter, they could take like two to five days to get you, whereas staph, that might just take 15 minutes. Salmonella can be anywhere from six hours to six days. Just because you ate something and then got sick doesn't mean the thing you ate got you sick, unless you ate that thing with a bunch of other people and they also got sick, which is what happened to me. So I know exactly what it was, but I just think that's an interesting thing to know. Part two, I have decided to not use Twitter between now and January so that I can sort of have this break which is supposed to be a holiday anyway, and also be taking a break from whatever it is that Twitter is, because it's not like I don't have a lot of stuff I'd like to do during that break that's gonna be fun and productive. That won't be Twitter. However, that does not mean that I have stopped having the desire to tweet or the ideas to tweet, so I'd like to read to you some of the things I would have tweeted if I had been on Twitter. Is bubble water addictive? This is an interesting question. i like some scientists to tell me. What if we started an instant pho company, like the Vietnamese noodles, and called it unforgettable? <laughs> That's probably for the best. If we want to save the world, we need ways to make rich bros feel powerful without giving them any actual power. Probably again for the best. Like that's not a nuanced take. Cause the best tweets are the worst ones, right? We all know this. It's not good to be good at something bad. This is real, this was about me. <laughs> So for, that sounds judgmental, but no, it was it was specifically about me feeling like I'm good at tweeting and that that doesn't mean that I should do it. Don't go around pronouncing medieval like medieval. You'll never learn how to spell it that way. You gotta say medieval. And like medieval, it's gotta be better, right? Because medieval makes it sound like it's the middle of evil. I don't think that was what it was or what we intended for it to me. Well, I've also got in here, don't ever rag on someone for their music tastes. Music is such a glorious part of the human experience and literally no good can come from making it worse for someone. I feel like that one's pretty good. Part number three, John, it's time for the Nerdfighteria census. Yes, I have been sitting in my bed all morning writing questions and modifying questions and adding new social networks that didn't exist a year ago. If you don't know what this is, every year since 2013, we've put out a survey to our audience so that we can better understand you, what you're up to, what you want from us, what you'd like to do, what are you're struggling with, what you're optimistic about. It very much informs the decisions that we make. It helps us understand this community better. And it's one of my favorite parts of the year. So there's a link in the description. You can click on it. And and go with all the census. Now, I have intentionally made this video short so that you have some extra time. I'm gonna give back to you so that you can give it back to me when you fill out the census. John, I'm gonna go lie back down. I'll see you on Tuesday.